What's going on dudes? Uh, I got some zombies gameplay here. Uh, I've got my MP40 here in round 12 and uh, this right here is just a nice spot that I've kind of found that's a decent spot to stop and round up zombies. Uh, there are some spots where you can get caught like right there. I almost got trapped and caught. Um, but you saw me have like a little bit right around 2,000 points when I started here. Um, and then you'll see that I'm over 5,000 by the time this next minute is up. Uh, if you can handle it and you don't get overwhelmed, this is an awesome spot to rack up the zombies. Like, look at them, just all of them lined up um, for me to get headshots on. I wish I would have had the uh, Deadshot Daiquiri, which you can buy that at the top of the lighthouse. And what that does is every time you, like, aim down your sights with the left trigger, it, like, goes directly on the zombie's head. It's pretty much like an aim bot for in, if, to aim at the enemy's head. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. Um, so anybody who was wondering what that new perk that I was talking about was, that's what it is. And now here I come to the uh, mystery box, which it comes into a different spot every time. And I, th I don't know how it works. I don't know if it changes locations by itself, kind of like the Pack-A-Punch does on this map, which I'll talk about in a second, or if you have to get the bear before it moves. Um, but this is the VR-11 right here. You shoot a, a zombie with that, and it turns it into, like, a human. And it's, like, the human starts running crazy everywhere, and then the zombies follow it. Um, but not every zombie follows it. Like, if you're running around and a zombie sees you, it's going to come after you too. So it doesn't exactly work like monkey bombs because you can still have uh, zombies running after you with it. But basically, I tried to get that out of the Pack-A-Punch. There's the Deadshot Daiquiri right there. I didn't even look at it, but it's, like, right behind me. Um, and then I think I'm going to use this zip line right here. Yeah, you just run and jump. You don't have to press any buttons. You just kind of jump into it. And you can uh, hit fire while you're on it, looking back that way. And zombies and George and everybody will follow you through there. So, uh, And now here you see the lightning strike right there and the screen turned yellow. Basically what that does is it moves the Pack-A-Punch. And that light up there at the top of the lighthouse will uh, let you know where the Pack-A-Punch is. So it'll stop moving here in a second and it'll just, like beam down on the the pack a punch which I got lucky and it was like right below me here <laughs> so um and it's right by right by juggernog if you come down these steps right here a juggernog will be right there in front of me and then uh, the pack a punch is over here in the water so I got lucky I didn't have to run halfway across the map to get to it so that worked out and I was basically I'm trying to you know complete the mission of getting rid of George which I've learned since that you can actually kill George like you can make him go away for the entire the entire game uh, and you get 30 gamer score I think for it when it happens but this is the room is going around pack of punching the VR 11 and then shooting him while he's in the water uh, basically what it does is he goes away for like the for the round so it's round 13 right now and I shoot him and I keep shooting him you don't have to do that once you get him into this water you just shoot him one time and he goes into that animation and goes down there but he's only gone for the round he'll come back in round 14 and uh, if I would have known that obviously I wouldn't have just done that right when I had a crawler left um, but I don't know man seems kind of cool uh, it definitely is a lot easier when you don't have him coming at you because he seems to always block up the way like you got a crowd of zombies and you're trying to run a certain way and then you run into George <laughs> so uh, it's definitely a lot better when he's not around um, and you'll see me later in the video I think I get really surprised that he comes back because I thought that this was it I thought he was done for um, and he wouldn't be coming back but boy was I wrong and then um, it has to be this water right here you can't do it in just any water there's several different spots uh, throughout the map that have it it has to be right there at the original spawn um, so yeah, uh, the rest of this video I think is just me. Oh no, I think there's a couple perks that I show you where they're at at the end of the video. Um, I need to go through and make a video and showing you guys where all the the rocks are to get the song. But I feel like there's probably so many of those videos out now, uh, so you guys can probably look that up. And now this zip line right here from the ship takes me to uh, back to the original spawn right there. And then I start my lap the opposite way. Uh, it's kind of hard to make laps just like I thought uh, before. Now, like right there, you saw me shoot that zombie and he turned into a human and they're all chasing him. But then this guy started chasing after me. So uh, it is still possible for zombies to be chasing you. Uh, but I think that's pretty much most of the new stuff that I've learned about this map just in these past few days uh, or past couple days, I guess. And if you're going to play multiplayer, um, I've gotten a couple gameplays that are like decent, I guess. 
but uh, I'm just gonna I'm not gonna do like I did with the last map pack and just post you know mediocre gameplays I'll wait until I get really good gameplays but mostly I've just been playing zombies I may have played each multiplayer map like once or twice um, and I got scores like you know like 22 and 7 you know 21 and 7 you know uh, shit like that that's not really too spectacular now here's where I buy the deadshot daiquiri uh, which like I said makes you aim in on their heads which I guess I'll get to show you here in a few seconds once they drop down. Um, but definitely run Ghost if you're playing multiplayer because that's all everybody's running. Like you see how it just aims at their heads right there? That's like so awesome. Uh, especially with these guns. Like if I had the MP40 right now it would be awesome. Because when you're trying to conserve ammo and take as few bullets to kill the zombies as you can. That Deadshot Daiquiri is definitely an awesome thing to have. Uh, but as I was saying in multiplayer definitely run Ghost and counter Spy Plane. Or counter spy plane, I guess. You don't need to run both, really. So if you're not going to run ghost and you don't want to do that, you want, like, flak jacket or hardline or something, uh, definitely run counter spy plane because everybody's running ghost and everybody's running spy plane. So that kind of sucks. And I'm probably going to wait for the next couple weeks to be over before I actually get into multiplayer again because that's just so frustrating. Like, if you haven't been playing multiplayer and you've been on a break and you come back when the map pack comes out and everybody's camping and everybody's got that goddamn... Uh, ghost on and everything like it's just so frustrating it makes you wonder why you ever decided to play it again uh, now here here I think I'm wanting to at the end of the round and this is where I see George I think yeah see there he is and I'm like what no way <laughs> and I look back at him so he's definitely comes back every round if you use the VR 11 approach um, but now I don't know what I'm doing oh I'm going to the two perks now uh, and also, when, once you actually kill George in the video that I'm going to link you guys to, um, you get a f you can buy a fifth perk, I think. You get an extra perk. Uh, it allows you to... Because uh, there's so many perks now, man. Like, back on Keynote or Toten, which was like the first zombies I ever played, you only really needed a few perks. You needed like Juggernaug, Sleight of Hand, and if you didn't want to buy Quick Revive, you didn't have to, but I feel like that was a necessity. But those three were pretty much it. So that's where this... Uh, that perk is it just makes me run faster I think I never play I've seen uh, some ascension gameplays where people had this perk but I've never actually bought it so and just judging by the picture it just looks like it makes you run faster I don't think it does anything else uh, but I'm sure one of you guys can let me know that and then you take this little slide down and there's a uh, sleight of hand right there or speed cola so that's where those two perks are and then it'll bring you back I think to the front of the lighthouse maybe uh, no, yeah, brings you down to the bottom of the lighthouse. Um, and now right here, I'm starting the new round just to show you one more time taking George down with the VR-11. So anybody else that's actually killed George and finished that uh, challenge and, or achievement or whatever, uh, let me know. That'd be pretty awesome to hear. And how you did it, because the video that I saw, this guy was just, it took him like a while just shooting the ray gun at him. Uh, and apparently George's like light goes uh, dimmer and dimmer like as you're killing him his uh, that light at the end of his stick gets like dimmer and dimmer that sounded kind of gay but <laughs> anyways uh, and then one last tip for you guys and zombies that I still can't stop like right here see I see something pops pop up right there and I don't know what it is and I come over here to check on it and it's a nuke and that's what gets me killed if I had just been smart and uh, continued my lap around I'd have probably survived and would still be running around possibly um, so that's pretty much where I messed up if you can't get a power up you don't have to get them so don't always try to run after them <laughs> but anyways uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope I taught you something that you didn't already know and uh, I'll talk to you guys later